What's going on, boys and girls? Now, this is going to sound funny here, but, you know, people are always talking junk about chitlins and how chitlins are just disgusting and, and doo-doo runs through chitlins and all that. Well, you know, I was making my chicken stuffing uh, or my, my uh, cornbread stuffing the other week, and I, we had to use some, some um, gizzards in there. And part of the video, we had to soften the gizzards up to make them tender. Well, I had to cook them for about two hours or so. But when I tasted it, I was like, man, these tenderized gizzards are real, real good. They almost put you in the mind of chitlins. So I thought to myself, what about making some chitlin? No, 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 I said it wrong. Some chicken chitlins. So we're going to try these guys and just kind of see, you know, maybe it'll, it'll, um, people will taste the chicken chitlins and then they'll, you know, they'll actually like it. And then we can actually give them some real chitlins. And they're like, oh man, this is what I've been missing. So you guys, this is just going to be a fun video. It, it made it not turn out. The, the food's going to turn out good. I can guarantee you. But um, um, it becoming a thing. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. Let's go. All right, guys. We're basically going to use the same thing we use as far as the seasonings are concerned. Same thing we use in chitlins pretty much. Now we got two packages of of gizzards here just fresh chicken gizzards we got four thighs right there to leave the skin on them we got some chicken powder we got some chitlin uh seasoning got some lemon juice got some hot sauce got a little bit of chicken broth got some apple cider vinegar we got some tony saturates and we got some um chicken bouillon cubes um we're gonna put this thing together it's gonna be easy again the first part of the video you got to tenderize the tenderize the um uh um, gizzards. Alright guys, I just want to share something with you now. You do have to wash gizzards off. You know, they are part of the intestinal tract. They're part of the esophagus. You know, the gizzard of a chicken or a bird in general, what it does is it helps to crush um, solid things like stones and pieces of grain and things like that. It's, it's a portion of the esophagus, like the bottom part or the top part of the esophagus. But again, you look at it like right there, that's got, that shouldn't be in there. That's that's stuff that you want to wash off. So you got to wash these things just like you do chitlins because they are part of the gastrointestinal tract. All right, we're going to bring some um, chicken broth to boil. We're going to add three bouillon cubes, about a teaspoonful of chicken powder. It's going to give a lot of flavor, y'all. A couple of tablespoons of vinegar to give it some flavor. About a tablespoon of lemon juice. That's about a tablespoon. More or less, more or less. Now we're going to add about a teaspoon of Tony Saturates. Don't use a lot of it because we don't want this to be super, super salty, y'all. And just a small amount of our chicken chitlin seasoning. Again, maybe a half a teaspoon. Now again, you can add more, so don't over season it. And of course, you can be real liberal with your hot sauce. You got to put that hot sauce in there. Or you can use some cayenne pepper, y'all. Then we're going to add our gizzards here, and we're going to have to add some more, um, some more um, chicken broth because we want that to at least cover it. So we got to get us another box of chicken broth. Now you can use water too, guys. Don't think you got to use chicken broth. All right, it doesn't have to be completely on top of them, but it should be about like that. I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to let this simmer for two hours. All right, y'all. It's been about two hours, a little bit more than two hours. It's all nice and tender. We're gonna add in our our chicken thighs now. All right, gonna place those in there. We're gonna give this a cook for another hour and a half to an hour or so, guys. The, the thighs are not gonna take that long to tenderize. Um, but we're gonna bring it up to a boil again, and, and then, of course, we gotta um, season it to taste. All right, guys, also, I decided to add a little bit of minced garlic and some um, diced pimentos in there as well. We're going to go ahead and lower that temperature. All right. So it, um, the first two hours or so, or hour and 30 minutes, wasn't long enough. So I had to let it cook another 45 minutes. So it took about two hours and 15 minutes. And this right here will be fall off the bone. Now, see how it's coming off the, coming off the bone. So we're going to, we're going to take these out and we're going to debone them so that we just have the meat in there. And then um, we can chop everything up. All right, we got all the bones out. We just got the chicken left. And what we'll do here now is we will pour this over into a pan. 
and we will cut this up and add our seasonings. Guys, I can already tell you, I'm eating on some of it now. It is so friggin' good. No, it's not chitlins, but it puts you in the mind of chitlins big time. It kind of looks like chitlins too, don't it? If you didn't know what it was, you probably would say this is chitlins, but it's not chitlins. It's chicken chitlins. Alrighty, y'all. So we're going to remove the uh, chicken from the the, uh, the chicken broth. And we're going to chop this up right here and make it into nice smaller pieces. Alrighty, guys. Didn't have to put too much seasoning in there. I put just a, maybe a tablespoon of vinegar in there. They look like chitlins. They taste like chitlins, but they ain't chitlins. So this right here was a great recipe if you if you're like adverse to eating chitlins, make you some chicken chitlins and see what how you like those. So you guys have a great day. Like, share, comment on this video, hit the little notification bell if you like my videos, and I hope you have a great time. Peace. All right, guys. Just so y'all don't think I'm lying to you that I'm I made some disgusting stuff. My wife even likes it. I just chopped them up. My wife came in here. Mm. I mean, the gizzards give you the texture of the chitlins, but they're more tender. The the shredded chicken gives you the taste of like barbecue, really. Mm. We could put some, um, I didn't need to add nothing to this. Maybe just a little bit of vinegar. I really didn't have to add anything to this right here at all. Again, um... You can get past it being poop shoot. This right here ain't poop shoot. Now, it's part of the intestinal tract, and it ain't from a pig. So, guys, you got to try the, the chicken chitlins. I think you'll be surprised, and I think you'll love it. Peace.